The practice of internet governance is what takes place every day outside of these walls in the institutions of internet governance, in government policies, and in uh, the private sector also. So um, I think Grace really drove that point very well about the important of, importance of youth voices in internet policy, and others did as well. Um, I'll just mention two, I'll just make two quick points as a reaction. These have to do with the question, what are the conditions necessary for more youth engagement and input into internet governance? So I mentioned two conditions. One, there has to be actual discussion of substantive internet policy issues. I, I would raise the question, how would the plenary panels have been different if we had the group on stage here setting the agenda? I think a lot of really important issues were raised. Um, we have to address the difficult questions. Like, I'll, I'll just mention a few that have already come up today. Government filtering and censorship. Whether access should be free from discrimination. Um, we mentioned the digital divide issues, so there should be a lot of discussion about things like IPv4 address-based depletion. So I like the fact that a lot of substantive policy issues came up with this panel. Um, I also want to uh, raise one last point about how to create conditions necessary for more youth engagement. We need to worry about trends that are away from inclusivity and away from transparency in the practices of internet governance. So uh, just to mention a few of these, there are a lot of issues that are hidden in private industry practice, whether through private contracts, through network management practices, through trade secrecy increasingly. That's one area. Two, lack of transparency in what some governments are doing. And also, um, just finally, we need to have more inclusivity and transparency. I mean, we have Dr. Vinton Cerf up here who um, really is responsible for many of the historical traditions of openness and standard setting. So um, I think that, you know, I'm very concerned about trends away from openness in other standard setting institutions and it has to be openness in order to have youth participation. So I would raise those issues. Um, the future of the internet really needs internet governance frameworks that reflect these principles that the youth mentioned in this panel of transparency and inclusivity. And um, I am also very concerned about this and the fact that um, I heard what I did on this panel gives me a lot of hope in the future of the internet. Thank you very much.